Hey everyone, this is Emil Naruto here. Welcome to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about a special option called checkbox. So now I'm going to show you where is it actually located and what is the usage of it. So for example, when you just go to this developer tab here, here you'll be having an option called insert. So if you just click on the insert, then you'll be having a check option. So just tap on it and you can select any cell that you want. So for example, I'm selecting this B2 here and I'm drawing a checkbox here. Okay, so I've drawn some checkbox. If I just expand this checkbox, what happens is, uh, then I'll be showing this entire checkbox that is check with the name checkbox one. I don't want this name, so I'm deleting it. And after that, I'm uh, placing it back to its normal position here. Okay, after that, I'm okay. So now what happens is <clears throat> after that, what we can do is just right click here. right click and then we have this option of format control here you can set, you can link any cell that you want for example i'm gonna link this cell c2 and click enter okay now what happens is if i just select this cell then automatically this c2 will be shown as true if i uncheck this then automatically it will be shown as false okay now now i'm going to hide this column yeah it has been hidden now in this cell d2 what i'm going to do is i want to enter some function if if earlier i have hidden some cell uh, i mean the whole column that is c column in particularly i have created some uh, format control in the c2 actually so i want to pass that cell here if C2 is 100, then show me if I, okay, I'm pressing enter here. Okay. Now what happens is if I check this, then it would be 100. If I uncheck this, then it would be 5. Did you get that? So using this, we can easily prepare any to-do list. So this is just a kind of explanation about this checkbox. Now I'm going to show you how a real checkbox would be, would look like. For example, see here, here uh, we have some holiday checklist. So uh, if you want to go for a holiday or if you want to go to some other country, you need to uh, prepare your passport, you need to make it ready sun cream, uh, swimming costume, money, medication, depending upon the vacation that you are going, these are all the necessary items which are actually mandatory um, to pack. So oh, the, these are all the things. So you want to have a checklist. For that, what we are actually doing, we are selecting the cell B2. And after that, we are going into this insert controls uh, and here form controls, we are selecting the checkbox here. Okay. Now I'm drawing a checkbox like this. Okay. If I expand this checkbox, then what happens? Okay. So it has got expanded now. Yeah. Now what I can do is I'm selecting this cell B2. And I want to have the checkboxes for all the items here. So I'm just dragging it down here. See, I have got all the checkboxes that I want. Now, what I need to do is, I need to repeat the same process that I have earlier shown you. For example, uh, I need to right click on it and then I, I just go to this format control option wherein 
here you'll be having an option of linking linking this checkbox to any cell that you want whatever cell that you want you can easily uh, link it up so i want to link it to this uh, c here i mean and particularly c2 so i'm selecting the c2 after that i'm pressing okay now okay i want to repeat the same process so just right click format control then cell link select this one click ok ok now repeat the same process click ok format control go here click ok format control click ok format control click ok format control click ok format control click ok okay so now uh, we have total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have in total of 10 items out of these 10 items we have what we have done is we have created a format control for a total 8 items see up till here in the sense total 8 items for total 8 items we have created this in the sense if i click uh, this checkbox then automatically the option is true 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 okay but if i click this no it won't uh, have any impact why because i haven't created any format control for these two options so i'm actually uh, remain i mean i'm actually keeping it as unchecked itself so what happens now these are all the total items that you need to pack but what you have done is out of these 10 items you have only packed these eight items these eight items you have packed up the rest of the two items that you uh, these two items you have forgot to pack okay now we want to count the total items that you have packed up so what we can do if you want to count something uh, you, you just need to count you just need to use count a why i'm using count a count a is only useful for if you have if you want to count any text I mean, if you want to count any text uh, cells, that it will be useful. So if you just uh, press OK here, then obviously it would count all our items as 10. Okay. See here, the formula. Count A of A2 is to A11. A22, A11 in the sense, it has counted the total number of items right from the cell A22, A11. Okay. Now, I want to count the out of all the 10 items i just want to count how many items how many items that i have really packed so see here we have total of 10 items but we we have only packed some eight items so i want to count that so how to do that so just go here and equal to and we need to enter a function called count if see below here it is uh, here it is asking us to provide the range here okay so i'm actually providing the range so these are all the range so this is the range c2 to c11 e these are all the total items and i also want to provide the criteria criteria in the sense i want to provide it as whether it is true or not mm, yeah if it is true then only it will usually counts okay it, it usually goes from C2 to C11 and then it only looks for the if it is true or not. If it is true, then it, it counts it. If it is not, then it won't. I'm pressing OK now. See, it has counted the items that I have packed here is total 8. So out of the 10 items that I have 
packed only eight. So now, depending upon the total items and depending upon the items that I have packed, I want to take a decision whether I whether I can proceed uh, going for my vacation or not. So for that, what I can do is I'll enter another formula here that is equal to I'm entering a function if I'm providing a, a logic that is if b13 if b13 equal to b14 then uh, I'm asking this Excel to uh, say yes uh, you are good to go so you you are good to go okay. you are good to go so this is the statement that i want excel to be printed here and if it doesn't meet this logic i mean if this logic is not get if this logic is not satisfied then i want uh, to print No. You can't go. Okay. So this is what that I want to print here. So if I press OK, then what happens is here it is asking me to stay here. Why? Because no, you can't go is popping up. Why it is actually popping up in the sense Earlier, we have provided the formula in the function if is if b13 is matching with b14, then only we can uh, we can proceed for vacation. But what is the thing here that is happening here? B13 is having 10. But when you look at b14, it is only having eight. So we can't really go with these items. Why? Because we have really missed uh, our mobile phone. And we have missed travel insurance documents. Without these two, we can't really go outside. Okay. So this is an use case uh, wherein checklist would be uh, checklist checklist would be handy, so handy uh, when it when it when we are actually preparing some checklist. I mean to do list for any vacation or any tasks or something. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Chahin.